To make a bullion knot rose, you're going to need to start with a different kind of needle than you usually use for embroidery. This one is specially made for bullion knots. You can also get a milliner's needle and the difference between regular embroidery needles and these needles is that the eye of the needle here is the same width as the rest of your needle. So it just makes it a lot easier to pull that through. You can do it with a regular needle if you just wanna do some practice, but this is gonna make it a whole lot easier, trust me. So to start out with, I just wanna review a couple bullion knots just because they are a little bit more of an advanced move. So what we'll do is bring your needle up through the back of your work at the beginning of the line and then go to the end of your line and bring your needle down. But do not pull it all the way through. You wanna leave a nice, good size loop there. Then go back to your starting point and bring your needle up again and don't pull your needle all the way through. And what you wanna do is start wrapping this thread here around the needle and push it down. And you wanna keep doing that until the length of your wrapping here pushed down is about the same length as your line here. So I think I did a pretty good job there. Now you want to, with your pointer finger and your thumb, hold those wrappings kind of loosely, push your needle up through the back as far as you can get it, and then come in through the top and pull the needle through the wrapping. And so now you're gonna pull it off to the right here and keep pulling. You can kind of use your other finger to kind of straighten all of this out here. And then take your needle and go back down in the hole on the right to secure it. And once you've got the hang of making your bullion knots, we can start on the bullion knot rows. So I like to start my roses, there's different ways to do it. I like to start mine with a French knot in the middle. So I'm just gonna bring my needle up through the back of my work, wrap my thread around a couple times, and then go back near that same hole. Once you have that first French knot done, Bring your needle up near the top of it and then back down near the bottom. Leave the loop of thread on the top. Bring your needle back up in the first part and then wrap the thread around. For these first knots, you don't need a whole lot of wrapping because we're just going a short distance. And then hold the wrappings with your pointer finger and your thumb. Pull the needle out. And it's helpful if you pull in the direction that your knot is going to be laying. So since my knot was going this way, I needed to pull my thread this way. So once you've got that done, take your needle back down at the end of it. And now we wanna do kind of a pinwheel pattern around that center French knot. So rather than start another petal here or another knot here, I'm going to start it near the end of this one just to the outside. So bring your needle up here. And then I'm gonna bring it down to the left of my French knot. Bring it up in your original point. Wrap the thread around. And then hold on to the wrappings, pull the needle through. And now since my knot's gonna be going up, I'm gonna pull it slightly in that direction. And then 
bring the needle down at the end. And now again near the end of this knot, we'll bring our needle up. And then I'm going to bring it down near the middle of that first knot. Right around. Okay, and now we'll bring the needle up at the end of this one. And then since I want to start making them bigger, I'm going to actually skip over this little one here and head on over to this knot over there. So here's what mine ended up looking like. I didn't get the pinwheel pattern exactly how I would normally like it. Um, I'm still learning and still practicing. This takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience. I think I redid this one probably at least three times. So if you don't get it the first time, don't be too frustrated. Don't be too hard on yourself. Just keep trying and you can make those um, smaller or bigger, however you want them to look. And that is how you make a bullion rose.